Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the new Anafi Thermal by Parrot. This just came out, and so we're gonna run through what comes with the drone, and then the interface with the new dual color and thermal cameras on a very small package. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So Parrot just sent this to me, and what they're targeting here is just kind of a general tool for things like first responders or public safety teams that might want that color thermal layer. Let's see if I can get this box open. There we go. Uh, as well as for general inspection or wildlife or anything uh, that you're trying to use it for, basically where you could toggle back and forth with that color or thermal data layer. So it comes with a nice compact little shoulder pack here and uh, the other Anafi that I have actually uh, comes with this pack and it's nice and compact and actually can fit in with the rest of my camera gear as well. We'll go ahead and put this box aside and we'll walk through what comes in the package. So we can go ahead and unzip the top here and the drone is actually in the top of the case and I really like that. There's a nice kind of magnetic layer here and we can just kind of pop this thing out. And here you go, it's just tiny. It's weighing about 315 grams, and that's actually 10 grams less than the regular Anafee. So they've actually lightened it up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and pop the legs out. They have this nice, just kind of compact feature here where you can pop it out. And then we'll take the cover off of the new camera here. Put it in here. So there you go, you can see it, it's that dual lens there where you can have the RGB uh, 4K or 21 megapixel still camera on the top with a 2.8x zoom so it can zoom in. It's a lossless zoom so you can get nice high resolution zoom there as well as the lower resolution thermal there on the bottom. And it is on a stabilized three axis gimbal that can point 180 degrees so it can go straight up or all the way and straight down. So that's actually really nice. It's one of the few drones on the market that can point straight up uh, and uh, at a very small package compared to some of these other more commercial drones that are out there. Okay, we'll get more into the drone in just a bit. Also in the box here, we have our controller. This is the Sky Controller 3. It just pops up and your phone fits in it. We also have a tablet extension that you can use and you'll be able to use your tablet here for a larger field of view than just the phone, and that will just pop right into the controller. Note that the controller, once you turn it on or open it up, it turns on, and that's a really nice feature for a very quick start, so you can be up and flying in pair advertise about 10 seconds, I would say, yeah, 10 to 20 seconds or so. You pop your phone in, you turn the drone on, you're good to go. Uh, you don't have to wait for the boot up like you do on, on say, the DJI platforms. Okay, also in here you have two extra batteries. So in total you have three batteries and Parrot is advertising 26 minutes of flight time. So slightly longer flight times than the traditional Anafi, uh, probably because of that lower weight or so uh, within the drone. Also in here we have our instruction guides for the Anafi Thermal some extra propellers. These come in handy, I've found. Um, you can ding up the propellers. Also in here, they've provided uh, USB ports, multiple USB ports. So you can charge the drone and the batteries using USB-C, and here you can charge them all at once, basically. And they advertise about three and a half hours or so to charge everything up and be ready to go. That's about it for this package. Let's talk more about the camera itself and some of the features on the new Anafi Thermal. Okay, so I've cleared off my pack with my extra batteries and my chargers and we're just gonna walk through the software side of the new Anafi Thermal. So I'm gonna turn the drone on. I've already gone ahead and updated my firmware on my app as well as the software on the drone and then calibrated the magnetometer on the drone as well. Those are steps you'd have to walk through if you're getting ready to fly. There's a power button here on the top of the drone and we'll go ahead and turn that on and it'll then calibrate the gimbal as well as you'll hear the fan running. The next thing I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna open up the Free Flight 6 app. So here you can see I have my iPad Pro here. You can see it's a little bit uh, tippy. You're gonna have to be careful. This is a, a little top weighted with this iPad on the top, but it does fit in there. So I'll go ahead and 
touch on fly in here and it'll give you that live feed. And so if I turn the camera around here, you can see me and I can tilt the gimbal all the way up. There you go, you can look up my nose basically. And so what I wanna do now then is I wanna to toggle on to the thermal. So in order to do that, I can go ahead and touch on thermal and that'll turn on the thermal screen. And there you can see me with all the temperature controls. And so I can actually touch on the screen and get different temperatures. So you can see my shirt is about 24 degrees Celsius versus my body temperature, which is it's showing up as about 31 degrees Celsius. So my plaid is a little cooler than my skin. Obviously that makes sense. On the left hand side, then you can see a gradient then uh, of thermal temperatures. And this is radiometric thermal. So it's actually not just hotter to colder, um, but actually it's, it's 17 degrees or 34 degrees. It's the actual thermal temperature. Now under the settings within the app, there's a couple of interesting features here. We can go to the thermal side and we can change the temperature from Celsius to Kelvin, which would be a little more scientific, to Fahrenheit, which is what we use here in the US. I can also change the temperature range. So that scale bar, if I'm doing very high temperatures, I can enable that on the app as well. And then I can change the color settings. So we have our standard kind of thermal gradient, uh, but we can go to rainbow or even white hot. And I like the white hot because it just gives you a single linear gradient rather than a colorized gradient. Now, the thing to note is that we can zoom in on the camera. So I'll go ahead on the back here, we have our little toggles and they allow me to both tilt the camera as well as I can zoom in to 3x. So we can get really close here. If I can get into the picture frame, you can see my glasses. Uh, it's a little too close for, for comfort, but you can zoom in uh, about 2x and, and it shows you how far you're zoomed in, 2.8x. Um, so almost three times uh, the zoom. I can toggle back then to between visible and the thermal and so I can really toggle in between those two different layers and I like that as well. Um, the ability just with it right within the app to switch in between the thermal as well as the color and that will be very useful if I'm out in the field and I'm trying to do visual inspections or for me it would be something like I'm out there looking for irrigation leaks or something related to plants and I can just toggle back and forth then and look at those temperature gradients. Another really nice feature that I like is actually the ability to touch and slide and define the areas and really crop out areas that you want in the thermal. So let's go ahead and put that, show you what that looks like. So if I point that at my camera, then I can toggle and I can get completely thermal or I can change the transparency uh, just to the most warm temperatures and it, it allows you to just kind of crop out some of the other aspects of the thermal and change that transparency. Uh, and that's actually a really nice feature. In general, I think this is a pretty interesting move on Parrot's part. So it's a very small platform and ultra lightweight. I mean, if you compare it to say a DJI Mavic 2, although this feels a little more robustly made, um, I think it's a highly portable tool. And if you look at the size, this is more close to say even a DJI a Mavic Air or even a, a Spark. And so I think that what Parrot has made is an alternative to the Mavic series in terms of uh, interested parties that want something that's alternative to DJI and they're looking for something um, that's very easily portable but has really nice capabilities. What sets us apart, that 180 uh, pivot in the gimbal, the ability to zoom in to 3X, and then those dual cameras all in a tiny package. And then the price. So, Parrot has launched at $1,900 US for the package. So that's the drone, the three batteries, the little case that it comes in, the charging. Uh, and I think that that's actually a pretty interesting price point for thinking about the capabilities. And if we're looking at using it for uh, public agencies or even for inspection, I think it's a nice low cost tool that you can have in your kit. And so that's the Anafi Thermal. I'm Greg with Scholar Farms. I hope you found that unboxing interesting and we'll talk to you again soon.